Hello everybody, welcome to the Truth Seekers channel. Today I want to read about uh, the code of uh, Hammurabi. I want to talk about that and I want to read something I found on the internet. They say it's one of the oldest code written, but elsewhere in the history channel they say it is not. Go ahead. But let's see. Um, the Code of Hammurabi is a well-preserved Babylonian code of law of ancient Mesopotamia dated back to 1754 BC. It's a really long time ago, about 4,000 years ago. It is one of the oldest deciphered writings of significant length in the world. The sixth Babylonian king, Hammurabi, enacted the code. A partial copy exists on a 2.25 meter stone steel. It consists of 282 laws with scaled punishments adjusting an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, lex talionis, as created based on social stratification depending on social status, gender of slave versus free, man versus woman. Okay, I got like the Avalon project uh, from the Yale Law School, translated by L.W. King. <coughs> I'm gonna read uh, all that one to you. Uh, the translation of the uh, stone you just saw, the Hammurami stone. First, let's start. When Anu, the sublime king of the Anunnaki, and Bel, the lord of heaven and earth, who decreed the fate of the land, assigned to Marduk, the overruling son of Ea, god of righteousness, dominion over earthly man, and made him great among the Ijiji. They called Babylon by his illustrious name, made it great on earth, and founded an everlasting kingdom in it, whose foundations are laid to solidly, so solidly as those of heaven and earth. Then Anu and Bel, called by name me, Hammurabi, the exalted prince who feared God to bring about the rule of righteousness in the land, to destroy the wicked and the evil doers, so that the strong should not harm the weak, so that I should rule over the black-headed people like Shamash, and enlighten the land to further the well-being of mankind. Hammurabi, the prince called of Bel, am I, making riches and increase enriching Nippur and Dur Illu, beyond compare sublime patron of Ikur, who re-established Eridu and purified the worship of Iapsu, who conquered the four quarters of the world, made great the name of Babylon, rejoiced the heart of Marduk, his lord who daily pays his do devotions in Sajil, the royal Skion whom Sin made, who enriched Ur, the humble, the reverend, who brings wealth to Gish Shirgal, the white king heard of Shamash, the mighty, who again laid the foundation of Shipara, Sipara, who clothed the gravestones of Malkat with green, who made Ibabar great which is like the heavens, the warrior who guarded Larsa and renewed Ibabar with Shamash as his helper, the lord who granted new life to Uruk, who brought plenteous water to its inhabitants, raised the head of Inanna, Iana, and perfected by beauty of Anu and Nana, shield of the land, who reunite the scattered uh, inhabitants of Isin, who richly endowed I Galmak, the protecting king of the city, brother of the god Zamama, who firmly founded the farms of Kish, crowned I Meet Ursak with glory, redoubled the great holy treasures of Nana, managed the temple of Harsak Kalama, the grave of the enemy whose help brought about the victory, who increased the power of Kuts. Ha. Made all glorious in E. Shitlam, the black steer who gored the enemy, beloved of the god Nebo, who rejoiced the inhabitants of Borsippa, the sublime, 
who is heaped up with the harvest of Ur Urash, the mighty, the lord to whom comes scepter and crown with which he clothes himself, the elect of Mama, who fixed the temple bounds of Kesh, who made rich the holy feast of Nintu, the provident solicitous uh, who provided food and drink for Lagash and Girsu, who provided large sacrificial offerings for the temple of Ningurs Girsu, who captured the enemy, the elect of the oracle, who fulfilled the prediction of Halab, who rejoiced the heart of Anunit, the pure prince whose prayer is accepted by Adad, who satisfied the heart of Adad, the warrior in Karkar, who restored the vessels for worship in I Ut Galgal, the king who granted life to the city of Adab, the guide of I Mak, the princely king of the city, the irresistible warrior who granted life to the inhabitants of Mashkan Shabri and brought abundance to the temple of Shidlam, the white. Potent, who penetrated the secret cave of the bandits, saved the inhab inhabitants of Malka from misfortune and fixed their home fast in wealth, who established pure sacrificial gifts for Ia and this dumb Galnuna, who made his kingdom everlasting great, the pricely king of the city, who subjected the districts of the Ud. Kibnun Na Canal to the sway of Dagon, his creator, who spared the inhabitants of Mera and, and Tutul, the sublime prince who makes the face of Nini shine, who presents holy meals to the divinity of Sh Ninazu, who cared for its inhabitants in their need, provided a portion for them in Babylon in peace, the shepherd of the oppressed and of the slaves whose deeds find favor before Anunit, who provided for Anunit in the temple of Dumash, in the suburb of Agade, who recognizes the right who rules by law, who gave back to the city of Ashur, its protecting god, who let the name of Ishtar of Nineveh remain in Imish Mish, the sublime who humbles himself before the great gods, successor of Sumulua Il, the mighty son of Sin Mubalit, the royal sign of eternity, the mighty monarch, the son of Babylon, whose rays shed light over the land of Sumer and Akkad, the king obeyed by the four quarters of the world, beloved of Nini, am I. When Marduk sent me to rule over man, to give the protection of right to the land, I did right and righteous in and brought about the well-being of the oppressed. Okay, here are some code of laws. On a couple, I'm gonna read a couple of the 282. I'm not gonna read all of them. I can give you it on, I can give you all the laws later uh, in writings. Code of laws. If anyone ensnare another putting a ban upon him, but he cannot prove it, then he that ensnared him shall be put to death. Hmm. Second law, if anyone bring an accusation against a man, and the accused go to the river and leap into the river, if he sink in the river, his accuser shall take possession of his house. But if the river prove that the accused is not guilty, and he escape unhurt, then he who had brought the accusation shall be put to death, while he who leaped into the river shall take possession of the house that had belonged to his accuser. accuser. 3. If anyone bring an accusation of any crime before the elders and does not prove what he has charged, he shall, if it be a capital offense charged, be put to death. If he hastily, if he satisfies the elders to impose a fine of grain of, or money, he shall receive the fine that the action produces. Code 5. If a judge try a case, reach a decision and present his, his judgment in writing. If later error shall appear in the, his decision and it be brought his own fault, then he shall pay twelve times the fine set by him in the case. 
and he shall be publicly removed from the judge's bench, and never again shall he sit there to render judgment. Uh, there are some, this is uh, about five of those laws. I'll show you the rest uh, in writings. Check it out yourself. And um, there are like eight things you did not know about the Code of Hammurabi from the History Channel, history.com. Let me show you some of those. It is not the earliest known code of laws. There is one that's older. Uh, the code included many bizarre and gruesome forms of punishment. Um, you'll see that yourself. Uh, the laws varied according to the social class and gender. The code established a minimum wage for workers, and the code includes one of the earliest examples of presumption of innocence. Yeah, so these are uh, great facts to know. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and let me know what you think about the code of Hammurabi. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll bring more to you.